Hello, welcome to Ludic Science. Today I will show you how to build this simple Stirling engine that I saw on Blade's World channel. He has very nice videos, you must visit his channel. Link is in the description. In order to build this engine, you don't need a lathe or any other special machinery. This video is sponsored by GLC PCB. GLC PCB is a company that makes excellent quality PCBs at an unbeatable price. You can order boards online in minutes. After registration, upload your Gerber files, select the PCB properties, select the payment method and place your order. Best price and quality for all your PCB needs. In order to make the engine, we need two test tubes, one larger than the other. This one is 24 mm external diameter and this other one is 21 mm. So one fits inside the other. You don't need these exact uh, diameters of tubes, you can use different diameters, but the smaller one must fit as tight as possible in the larger one because this will be our piston and the other is the cylinder. Of course it is not a perfect fit, the air can move from one tube to the outside, but we will now see how to correct this situation. What you need to do is to wrap some tape around the smaller tube at the lower end, not the side where the hole is. And you need to do as many turns as you need in order to have a good seal between the two test tubes. Here it is. It is difficult to see because the tape is transparent. But in my case, for the test tubes I have, I had to give four turns. Now the seal is much better, in fact you can feel how the pressure builds inside the tube. We also need to make a displacer piston and for that we need steel wool. You will cut a section and roll it into the form of a cylinder. Put some fine copper wire around to prevent unwinding and to make it compact and as cylindrical as possible. The displacer must have a diameter slightly smaller than the inner diameter of the large test tube so that it can move freely inside. Every Stirling engine has a hot side and a cold side. In this case, the hot side is the tip of the tube and the cold side is the space where the displacer ends. We will apply heat with a flame to the hot end and in order to make the motor more efficient we need to cool down the cold side. For that fold and wrap a paper towel from your kitchen around the test tube on the cold side area and secure it using a rubber band. Before we start the motor, you need to apply water to the paper towel. Stirling engines are more efficient when the difference in temperature between the hot side and the cold side is larger. So that is the reason we need to cool down the cold side. In order to finish the motor, we need to fix it to a wooden base, the smaller test tube, the piston is inserted in this hole and fixed using a hot glue gun. Let's add some water and try to start it.
The construction of the engine is very simple and crude, however it works, as you could see. Because it is very easy to build, it is ideal to introduce yourself into the world of the Stirling engines. I hope you liked this video, if you want to help me, please visit my Patreon page. Thanks for your visit and see you in the next video. Thank <laughs> you.